What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan Vast and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my first three products that I sold on Amazon. For the first two of them were failures and the third one was a success. And I'm also going to share what worked for the third one for my actual successful product and why the first two didn't work. And the lessons that I learned in my first attempt at Amazon, honestly, are universal lessons that anybody would benefit from right now. If you are trying to start an Amazon FBA business, you wanna travel the world, you wanna make money online, you know, you've been wanting to do this for a while, then honestly, these things have the power to completely destroy your business before you even begin. And there's something that I learned early on and I never did them again. So I have no doubt that within this short video, they're really gonna help you as I share what worked and what didn't. Uh, so we're gonna go back in time here and uh, we're gonna go to my first product. So to give you a little bit of background, so this was early 2017. So I know that's like, what, seven years ago now? This was early 2017. I was 21 years old, I think, 21, yeah, 21. And I had been trying to look for a business model to start for a long time. I'd been reading all the entrepreneurial books, which I'd poor dad, Think and Grow Rich, but I didn't really have a way to make money. Like I didn't know what business to start. So I was actually just cleaning windows. I was working a corporate job at the bank and I got so tired of it that I just decided Decided, hey, I'm just gonna start cleaning windows. I started doing that with my friend. And so me and my friend were both really interested in the, you know, in being able to travel and make money, you know, the online business space. And so that's when we started to look into ways to make money online. That's when I found out about Amazon. But I decided to do Amazon. He decided to do affiliate marketing. Okay. So two completely different business models. And we basically just like found the guys and girls online that we're talking about at the time. There weren't many at all. It was like two guys that I found and on different YouTube channels. There was one really young kid, Tanner J. Fox. And he had like a tank top on. He was like a gym bro. He had like a Lamborghini. He was like, look at me. This is how much money I made from Amazon. The Lamborghini didn't really get, like, I wasn't really interested in that. I was more just like, okay, you know, he's free, obviously financially free and everything else. Like, cool. Obviously this works. So I took his course. And then we also took another guy's course that no longer is even online on YouTube anymore. And quickly, my friend just decided, we just both decided to do Amazon. And basically what happened was, was that I launched a teeth whitening charcoal powder. That was my first product. So back then teeth whitening charcoal was actually a very trending product and using Jungle Scout, which is like the product research tool for Amazon, I could see that it was making a lot of money. And so I decided to invest money into it. And how much I put into it, if I remember correctly, was because I have notes here from uh, back then, I've documented my Amazon journey actually. And so especially the first three products, because I've actually made a video on this before, but I just wanted an updated version for you since it's 24 now. So I put in $2,200, so $2,200 USD that included shipping into a first minimum order quantity. So first bulk order of 500 units. And the cost per unit was like about $4, so four to $5. And that included the shipping. And what I was going to do was I was going to sell it for, if I believe, if I remember correctly, it was like $19.99 or $29.99 was my expected sale price. But I decided to sell it on Amazon Canada. Okay. And this is a huge note for those international people out there watching. Amazon Canada right now, yes, it's still a good place to sell. But what hasn't changed since back then and now is that Amazon Canada, I would not recommend it as a first starting marketplace because it just has, you know, there's 10 times less population. So obviously way less demand. And it's not like 10 times less demand. It's a lot less demand than that. So what I recommend now is launching in Amazon US, launching in a big marketplace or in a big marketplace in Europe. US is always a safe bet. And then expanding when your product's actually making money. So expanding, going to, you know, Amazon Canada, you know, once your product has already been making money for several months or any of the other marketplaces. So that was my first mistake. I launched in Amazon Canada, but it wasn't even the marketplace that was the problem. What happened was I waited three weeks for it to get manufactured and shipped out. And then when it got to Canada, I got a call from FedEx saying that it was seized by Health Canada at the port because it was not, you know, it didn't have English and French instructions and it was not a registered health supplement because in Canada, it turns out that you need to have an NPN number. Uh, so NPN, every single health supplement has an NPN number so that you're actually able to sell it. In America, you don't have to register supplements with, you know, the FDA unless they're like drugs. And so I remember I was on the phone, I was walking, I don't know, between the car and my, in the gym and I was on the phone with FedEx and then FedEx said, you have two options. You can either ship it back to China, have them fix the labeling and then try again or you can destroy the entire inventory. And so at that point, it was very difficult, but I knew that I did not want to pay for shipping for it to go all the way back. And so, you know, I figured, okay, that's it, just destroy it. So basically, I lost my very first product. I lost that money because the course that I took, the information that was available did not tell me that, you know, I basically needed very specific requirements to sell what's considered like a health supplement in Canada. And that was really, really annoying, honestly. You know, I was honestly bummed. But all the books that I was reading at the time, like the entrepreneurial books, they really, really motivated me to keep going. And, you know, I could have just kind of fallen into a hole. I could have just been like, ah, oh, you know, this Amazon thing, I knew it was too good to be true, but, you know, very few people make it. And that sort of way of thinking, 
but I decided to just not even entertain that because I already had made the decision that I was going to succeed. I was going to succeed. There was no choice. And so that's when I basically pulled my pants up and I was like, let's go. You know, we're going to immediately begin looking for our second product. Is that the right saying? Pulled my pants up. <laughs> I don't know where I get that from. So the lesson there was uh, make sure to do all your research, okay? Make sure that you know all the requirements for labeling, you know, especially when it comes to anything that goes on your skin or in your mouth. This was a teeth whitening charcoal that goes in the mouth. You know, make sure that you know almost everything there is to know or everything there is to know about your product that you can possibly know before investing money into it. And now with tools like ChatGPT, you know, that's so much easier because you can ask ChatGPT, hey, like, what do I need for this, right? What do I need to look out for? And of course, having a mentor is also very helpful. But unfortunately, I did not have a mentor. Like, I literally could not not ask anybody anything in the courses that I took. They just didn't want to do mentorship. They just wanted to sell course videos. And I thought, you know, honestly, that's kind of, you know, BS because like people need help and I needed help. But anyway, you know, that's why having a mentor is important. That's why through online courses, you know, there's a variety available today. You know, you can get that mentorship, including ours at Ecom Academy that we're working on right now, Amazon Pro. And so that's going to be on the Ecom Academy channel where I'm running live mentorship calls every single Saturday. Check them out. They're free calls. Subscribe to my channel. You can ask me anything that you want live. I'm going to be on camera. So that's at 2 p.m. every single Saturday on the Ecom Academy channel. Link is down below. So honestly, I just knew that I had to keep going. And if I didn't give up, I couldn't possibly fail. Let's move on to my second product. So, okay, lessons learned. I went back to the drawing board. I'm like, okay, let's find a product in Amazon US and let's not find a health related product, right? Like a, you know, like something that goes in the mouth. So then I found this product called a barn door roller guide. It looks like this. It looks pretty weird. I had no idea what I found when I found it, but the numbers were great. Uh, Jungle Scouts said I was making really good money. The listings did not have very high reviews and I got excited. I was like, okay, but what actually is this? And so it turns out, it's like a tool for uh, sliding doors. So barn doors, they started to be a big trend around 2016 and 2017. Now I think they're still semi-popular, but the trend's dropping off as you can see in the Google Trends graph. But basically this was like a guide for the door so that it could slide back and forth. It was like the wheel, right? And you only need one of them. You just put it at the bottom as far as I knew. And I invested about $1,400, the first order for this product. I contacted a supplier on Alibaba. And my first order was 500 pieces. So the cost with shipping was about $2.80. So $2.80 times 500 was about $1,400. And so this time I decided to launch it on Amazon US. And what happened was my product arrived. I turned on Amazon PPC to launch it, which is like Amazon's advertising. And I started selling, but I only was selling like two to three units a day. You know, I waited a week, two weeks. It was like two, three units a day. There was one day that was like four units and then back down to zero and then one unit. There were some days I got excited where it was like four to eight units a day, but never really took off. And so basically after like a month, you know, and it was just, it never sold more than like a few units a day. Um, I decided the demand was just not high enough. And so that's when I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to bring the price down of this product to the break even price. Meaning like, okay, I'm gonna bring down the price to the price where basically uh, if I sell it at, let's say, you know, $25, I'm not making any profit or losing any money. So I'm just trying to make my money back from my inventory, right? Because clearly in that first month, I was not making many sales. And, you know, even though it was only a few a day, it wasn't anywhere near enough for it to be worth it for me to continue. So basically, demand was not high enough but the good part about this product was that i left it selling and i actually eventually sold out and i broke even and by that time i had already actually launched my third product which was a success so basically as soon as i realized that you know the barn door roller guide wasn't going to be a hit that's when i was like okay you know what we're going to move on to the next product and so the lesson learned there was that uh, i shouldn't be investing into a product that had too low of a demand and even though the trend was rising the products on amazon were just not making that much money which made me think that maybe people are just not buying they weren't buying these barn roller guides on amazon at the time so the key here is to really, really consider everything when you're launching a product, really do your research, you know, look at all the data available. Like that's why Jungle Scout, for which the link is down below, the cheapest price available online, by the way, it's my partner link with them. That's why Jungle Scout is so good because it shows you how much money products are making and it shows you much more than that, like FBA fees and things like that. So at this point though, the difference was, was that I had already tasted Amazon success and I really saw the potential because I had made my first sale on Amazon. So it got me in the zone. And I will say your first Amazon sale is absolutely amazing. It's like the best feeling ever because you finally feel like before all that, it's just theory, but then finally, you know, you taste success and you're like, oh my God, it actually works. And at that point, the feedback loop begins, you know, like the success feedback loop, meaning, you know, once you gain a level of success, then you gain more and more success and more and more. And so that is what gave me the motivation to launch my third product. It was actually easier to go from my second failure to my third product, which was my success, my second product, my third product, then my first to my second, because I had already made sales. So I knew it was possible. And then that's when I landed on my third product, which was the micro needle derma roller. They're actually still sold on Amazon. They're making huge amounts of money. 
And basically it's just like a roller for acne, for wrinkles and things like that. Um, I had no idea what it did or what, you know, I did some research and I figured that out because my mom was like, I guess, interested in these types of products. And I had asked my mom and she had, you know, filled me in on what the product was for. And so basically I saw that there were a lot of listings making tons of money. I saw that they didn't have that many reviews. And what happened was, was that I invested about $1,800. I contacted a supplier. I invested $1,800 into my first order, about 400 units. It was 400 units and that included shipping. And so the cost with the shipping was like $4.50. But then what happened was, was that immediately, as soon as the product got into Amazon, I got hit with a listing deleted email, which really, really discouraged me. I was honestly like, are you kidding me? Like my third product came in and right away my listing got deleted. It was like an email that I got saying listing suppressed, your listing has been removed. And then I read the email and said that basically I needed to submit some FDA documentation because I needed to prove to Amazon that it was not an unapproved FDA medical device. Thankfully, my supplier had this documentation, so they had some kind of, you know, proof, and so I was able to submit that to Amazon. But, you know, I even looked at the Amazon list of restricted products, it was not on there, microneedle rollers were not on there. And anyway, so it was like honestly like pretty nerve wracking for a bit, but then I, you know, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to submit this documentation. And like the first time it didn't work, but the second time or the third time it worked, I got like the right customer a service agent or something or seller support agent rather so that's when my product blew up as soon as it came in i hit like 32k a month and i was uh in the bahamas actually we had booked a trip in the bahamas and we honestly timed it perfectly where you know i started making just really good money on amazon and me and my friend were both making sales because he succeeded with his first product and we were just so excited it was incredible and honestly that gave me the motivation to expand and then add product after product after product my second product after that that was successful was the jade roller the jade roller became an infamous amazon product honestly famous, not infamous, you know, it wasn't a bad product. My mom actually suggested this one to me later in the summer. And she told me her intuition was really good. My intuition was really good on it. I didn't even use the product research tools to find this one. And so I saw that, you know, there were sellers making money with it. It was just starting out on Jungle Scout. I'm like, whoa, mom, I found the next product. So then what happened was I invested about like $3,000, $4,000 into that product. I ordered a thousand units right away. The product exploded. I hit like 40K a month with it. And so between that and the derma roller, I was making really good money. It was like at a really high profit margin, like at least 40%. My problem with the fourth product, the Jade Roller, was that I started to get bad reviews because people were suddenly saying that it was breaking, it was arriving broken, and that was an issue. But then what happened was, was that I fixed the problem with my supplier. I told them what was happening and we ended up solving the issue by just adding extra packing material. So honestly, my journey on Amazon here, like it's pretty, I would say simple, you know, I know that other YouTubers and stuff might have like completely different journeys, but I would say my journey for that time is pretty straightforward. It's nothing out of the ordinary and the problems that I faced are not different from anything, even problems of new sellers today, you know, getting listing deleted emails on Amazon or investing in products that turn out they don't have enough of a high demand, you know, or investing in products that are just like too gimmicky or anything. You know, nowadays I would not go and sell a derma roller or a jade roller at all. Definitely the ship has sailed for them. And nowadays the products that you need to sell, there's certain criteria that's completely different. For example, I would not sell a product that I can sell below 40 or $50. You know, I'd make sure that I can sell it for at least 40 or $50. Number two, I would make sure that I was improving the product. And there's a whole way of doing this, which I'm actually going to make a video for on my Ecom Academy channel. You can check it out. The link is down below. Subscribe and ring the notification bell. Turn that on so that you get a notification every time I go live every Saturday for free mentorship sessions. I also put together a free crash course for which the link is down below where it'll show you exactly how you can get started on Amazon in 2024 and really cash in on this amazing business model. You know, that early business success that I had showed me what was possible. And I thought it was so crazy that so many people in the world, they wanted to do what I was doing, but they didn't know how. And it really motivated me to start this platform, start making videos about it, sharing my story, you know, sharing basically my coaching. And, you know, I've coached thousands of people over the years indefinitely one of the most successful courses out there for Amazon FBA. And now we're doing it on Ecom Academy. So you can check it out, free crash course down below. I'm so happy to do it. It's led me to find what I love, which is to help people, you know, be successful and be free. That's what I love to do, absolutely. And I honestly, I'm so excited for you to get on that journey because there's nothing more rewarding. There's maybe a few things, but you know, other than love and uh, relationships and things like that, I would say freedom is by far the most rewarding. So that's my whole story of my first few products. And since then I've sold lots of other products on Amazon and I've sold lots of other products on Shopify. And, you know, I've started brands where, you know, we scaled to like a million plus on Shopify, for example, with one product back in 2019, very quickly. I've started like food brands and things right now. Actually, I'm working on expanding my Amazon business. I actually really like Amazon. I just look for products where I actually, I kind of have a passion for them and I know a lot about them. So I know how to market them. And also they're not super trending, but like they're not yet super mainstream. Those are the products that I look for. 
and they do really, really well. So thank you so much for watching. That's my journey on Amazon, and I cannot wait to hear your journey to success. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the Crash Course and on the Ecom Academy channel every single Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for our live mentorship sessions.